Gorilla Com going 10 8. Hey guys, finally I set up camp and I got everything the way I like it. I got the ambiance and uh, fire thing ready to go. I'm ready to make the final stretch up that hill up there. I'm down like in a little saddle in here but I don't feel like... It looks like really steep uh, terrain from looking at the lines of uh, inclination there. So I'm going to lighten my load to just the uh, Camelback. I got all the water out of it, pretty lighten it up as much as I can to where I feel comfortable. And I got the repeater ammo box in the bag and the solar panel uh, piggybacking on the back there. Shovel and whatever tools I need to do this stuff. So, all right, I'll see you up there. Nothing special about this camp, just a regular hammock camp with tarp and it took me about five minutes five to ten minutes to set everything up easy peasy and now i can move on now that i got my shelter already uh squared away all right yes sir glorious sun here at the peak of the mountain that i chosen to deploy my simplex repeater there's the uh competing hilltop right there but uh, I think I'm going to stay here because it, it was a bitch to get up here. Uh, hauling 40, 45 pounds worth of crap up this steep terrain uh, wasn't fun. But it's well worth uh, making it. And to all you bug out bag guys out there and hauling the kitchen sink and everything. Try going up to a mountainous area hauling 40 pounds worth of gear. Uh, you'll get a change of heart really quick. Either that, 
or start working out because this ain't no joke. But anyway, here it is. Up, um, getting ready to uh, deploy it fully now. Uh, one last measure of prevention, an ounce of prevention, you know how the saying goes. I'm gonna enclose one of these uh, hydro absorbent uh, canisters here. So even though the ammo box is uh, uh, airtight and, and also uh, moisture waterproof in a way, I did poke some holes in this thing. I did put a silicone sealant in where the power comes in. But uh, just to make sure and to give me some indication when I come back in a few months or half a year or whatever, uh, if this thing turns blue, uh, pink, the bot, the red, the uh, the little circle there, uh, I know there was some moisture in there. And of course, if it's really bad, you probably could tell in there. But I'm just going to stick this in where the more delicate electronics is and where the hole is, as far as. All right, let's close them up and uh, give it a little test run. Well, guys, there there she is, fully deployed. It's a bitch getting up here, like I was saying. But uh, I'm confident that I won't be stolen or vandalized. It's it's got to take a really motivated individual to get up here anyway. This is fully deployed now. I did some last minute uh, touch ups as far as uh, touch up paint and make it blend a little bit more to the surrounding. Didn't have to do much. Uh, rookie mistake number one that I've made. I forgot my multimeter, so I couldn't verify how much amps that the solar panel is feeding the uh, the uh, simplex repeater so there's no way of me and I don't want to tear into the packaging to see if the solar panel is feeding uh, voltage into the uh, simplex repeater I would have to undo a whole lot of stuff just to look at the lights but uh, so I cannot verify the operation of the solar panel feeding the uh, simplex repeater so I guess in seven, eight, nine days, uh, it, when the thing doesn't uh, transmit any, anymore, then I know it wasn't hooked up. But my job here is done. I just did a little bit of site preparation here. Took out a little bit of branches here. Uh, most of the leaves are, are falling from this oak tree here. So that gives me an indication here that uh, sometime around November, I do need to come up here and dust off the solar panel. Uh, from falling leaves because look the whole place is just littered so once in a while each time I come up here the next time around I'm gonna go ahead and lop off some branches on this uh, oak tree at least on this side of the tree so uh, it will negate some of the leaves falling down on it because uh, it don't take much for that to stop working uh, or lose uh, producing power one leaf on the, any of those cells would 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 knock it down 95 percent it's it's insane so that's another thing now you have to come up here every so often and do maintenance uh, site cleanup uh, dust off the uh, and clean the solar panel that's the number one job to come up here it'll get dusty um, if it rains uh, some of that raindrops will kick up some dirt in onto the uh, solar panel and it'll stick on it and all sorts of stuff you know and do just general maintenance to see how the thing is working okay guys I'm gonna move on all right after doing a practically a frontal assault on that hill uh, since I just wanted to get up there quick and it looked like I was gonna feel some pain regardless I just went balls to the wall straight to it almost line of sight and yeah it almost killed me <laughs> but uh, now that I'm relaxed the work the major work is done the goal has been accomplished portable repeaters deployed I'm sort of uh, looking at the GPS map and the map that I have in my pocket and traversing the route back to base camp and it seems like this is a more enjoyable walk back home granted I don't have 30 pounds of gear with me anymore and I'm going downhill uh, next time around I know this is the route to take to get back up there it's gonna take a little bit longer going around but you'll you'll expend less calories 
going up a gradual hill. Okay guys, I'm back home and that repeater is 5,300 feet high from sea level. I can see the valley floor behind me from up there. Uh, I get a lot of the back country uh, towards the east of me here. So when I go out there for recreation or whatever, I totally have uh, coverage. And if I'm down in the valley working or whatever, I good uh, coverage down there. But it's going to take some drive time to test out for sure. That repeater is right there. And from this location, my front yard, it's uh, seven and a half miles away. So now we're going to do the real deployed range test of this to see how well this particular setup will work for me. And that's it guys, Gorilla Com going 10-10.